Good morning, everybody. Here we are for another celebration assembly, and it's Friday the 23rd of April. It's the 72nd episode that we've done here, so we're enjoying the sunshine now. And I must say, everybody has come back to school with a really, really bright and bubbly attitude, just like the weather. So it's been lovely to see everybody come back. Lots of people have got taller over the Easter holidays and new haircuts. Everybody's been getting excited about being able to go to the hairdressers again. And it's been really terrific to have everybody back. The spirits have been high in school. So let's start with talking about the attendance. Well, actually, it was one of the toughest weeks for attendance to choose a winner. It is going to Oaks because you've got a hundred percent and nobody can beat that. But if you have a look at the chart, you'll see just how close it was. Only a couple of percent in across the whole uh, school. So congratulations to everybody. Good attendance and a strong start to the term. Well done. Now, we've got a few little announcements today before I go on to decide who the, who talk, talk to you about who the winners of the week are. Uh, well, do you remember a few weeks ago, we had a parent that saw a deer on the playground and we had uh, a little bit of a, a few photographs of that. Well, we've had another parent who sent in a picture, or video clip I should say, of a porpoise in Sluice Bridge. Now, it's quite rare to see them because they're quite shy animals. And although you might think they're dolphins, they're similar to dolphins, but actually they're closer related to narwhals than dolphins, but they can be found all over the UK. And uh, we had a Mrs. White who spotted them, spotted one in Sluice Bridge. So we've got a little bit of a video for you there. Hope you enjoy it. You just wanted to pop up with a smiling face, didn't you? So we're turning into a nature show as well as a, a celebration assembly. Um, let's see if we get any more coming up over the next few weeks. I wonder if with all the traffic on the road now, maybe there's uh, some of the wildlife is gonna retreat back into the bushes and the hedges, but we'll see. I'm sure there's some still to come out and, and uh, let us know it's there. Now, homework, everybody, just to make you aware, homework will be starting. And well, then we're gonna start gently to get you back into the habit of it. Google Classrooms will be the place to start up with your homework again. So it's coming out today. Friday's the day for homework and that gives you plenty of time to get it done across the week. But most importantly, that homework is there to help you manage yourself and manage your work because by the time you get into secondary school, even though that's a long way for some of us, by the time you get into secondary school, you have lots of homework to do all by yourself and you have to come home and do your DT homework and your music homework and your Spanish or French or German homework and your maths homework all by the next day. So it's good practice to get going at it now and being in control of your own learning. So back on Google Classrooms from this week. And, uh, and like I say, start gentle and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pick things back up to normal again soon. Uh, we've got lots to look forward to over the summer term. There's lots of little events that we're going to try and put on in the school and there'll be some changes as we go through the summer term as well because there are always changes but most importantly we're going to try and spend a little bit more time outdoors. So it's really important that you remember to come in your PE kits on the right days, come with your school uniform on the right days, have your trainers ready in school for the daily mile, and whilst the weather's great, it's easy, but it's not always good weather. We do get rained on sometimes. So we've got our waterproof kits in school for everybody. But just to remember to come to school with the things that you need ready for each day. And that will make things better. OK, I hope we get a great start to the summer term, though. Um, and I would say the first week has been a really good indication of that. Now, another big thank you here. You'll see a few pictures as I talk about this, but we've had a, a donation earlier in the year um, from one of our grandparents, Grace Lads, who's now in year seven, and Rosie Lads, who's in Maples class. Grandparents donated a lot of money, and we mentioned this in an assembly, to help us buy some new books for the school. Now, Mrs. Crozier and Mrs. Lomas have looked at every single year group, and they've looked at all the best books from across the country for schools for those year groups. And they've made these wonderful book boxes. Well, 
I say they've made them. They've put the books in the boxes, but actually it was Benji's grandparents who made us these boxes. And I showed you them before in another assembly, but they're absolutely stunning. And now they've all been wrapped up. And today the teachers got delivered these presents, these book boxes, and explained, uh, we've had it explained to us what we're going to be doing with them. So they're going to take a really pride place in your classroom and children will be able to look at these books, read them and take them home. But most importantly, look after them because we're going to share the love of our reading through the school. And what you're going to do is be able to take them home, check them out like you would in a library and then come back and write a review about them, what you thought of the book and then you'll be able to celebrate it and we'll put those on display. And we want that across the whole school. What you think about books is so important because when you find that magic book that makes you want to read another book, it means your mind is ticking over and that you are going to be a great reader. And reading, as you remember, unlocks everything that we do. It's so important to be a confident reader and a good reader. So we hope you enjoy these reading boxes. We did take a little photo, as you'll have seen, with Rosie uh, with the books as well. And uh, I just want to say a big thank you to all the people that have helped put this together. So a big thank you to Benji's grandparents for making the boxes. And a big thank you to Rosie's grandparents for actually donating the money to help us to buy the books and to Mrs Crozier and Mrs Lomas for helping to put this all together. But also now it's over to you to treat these with great respect and to find that book that sets your little mind on fire, okay? And that's what we're looking for. So hopefully we'll hear lots more about the reading books and the reading boxes soon, and we'll celebrate them in lots of different ways in the future as well. Um, we have had two new children join the school this week, and it's a, a welcome to our Sibsy family. Welcome to Emily and Lucas, and I must say they've started really, really well. It's been lovely to meet them, and they've been hoping to join the school for a very long time. And actually, uh, they've finally been able to join the school, and they've settled in really well, and I've been really pleased to welcome them to the school. But not only that, we've got a bit of sad news, and we have said goodbye to Bernice this week in Poplar's class. So the rest of the Poplar's, as it was a bit sudden and, and, uh, and Bernice had to move and start her new school this week, have made a little video, so you'll see that here as well. I'm going to look after Tommy for you. I wish you a nice time at the next school. I love you, Bernice. I really miss you. I hope you're at our school again. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I wish you were still here, Bernice. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day at your new school. You're my best friend, Bernice. Bye bye, Bernice. Hope you enjoy your new school. Bye! Okay, so let's look at house points and who's been awarded some special certificates this week. For the bronze certificates, you'll see we've got uh, Harrison in the Seeds class. Congratulations to you. And then we've got a handful of children who have been nominated for the silver certificate. So you will see how many have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven children reached their 50 point certificate milestone. Congratulations to getting your silver award. And well on the way now to see if you can get your gold award by the summer holidays. So, talking of gold awards, we've been saying for weeks that we think it's going to be close, somebody's going to get there, and we have got two children who got there on the same day, both in Maple's class. A huge well done to our first children to get 100 team points is Bradley Lambert and Blaise Bourne. A huge congratulations to you two. So, now you're working towards seeing if you can get 175 team points to get the star and there's a star badge that you can get if you can make it to 175. So well done to you two. Now how does that affect the house points? So by the year we need to talk about the end of last term. It was very close and there were lots of things happening in the last few weeks of term but I need to tell you that in first place the winners for last term were Serpents. It was close but Serpents you got there so well done. Congratulations to you. You'll be getting your reward this term and now let's look at this week. Already things have been flying. So what have we got? In, in fourth place at the moment, only just behind first place, are Dragons with 56. 
Serpents with 59, Phoenixes with 61, and in first place at the moment are the Eagles with 68 house points. Okay, so let's see how's that going to change over the course of the coming weeks. Now, let's go on to the things you've been waiting for. It's the winners of the week. So we're going to start off in the Pines class with Remy. Congratulations to Remy. This week, Remy has been brilliant. He's really settled back into school and he's learning very well. He's following the rules extremely well and working so hard with his reading and writing. And I must admit, I popped in to see Remy doing Read, Write, Ink, and you're really trying to make sure your words were getting smaller and fitting nicely on the line when they should do. So that was fantastic. Well done. And then we go into Poplar's class. It's a congratulations to Luca. Well done, Luca. You've settled back into school as well this week, just like Remy, showing a really good attitude towards your work. You've shown cooperation with your classmates and impressed everybody with your good efforts. Really pleased to see you back, Luca. And I think the rest has done a lot of us good, having a little bit of time to refresh and recharge our batteries. But it's good to see everything's going back to normal for lots of our friends as well. In Redwoods, it's a well done to Paige. Paige Bailey, you always do your best, but actually you've been working really hard on improving your speed to make sure that you can get very, very good at your calculations, a bit quicker as well. And you've been working hard at your fractions page, showing a really good understanding, but also Mr. Flynn and Miss Bellamy are proud of the fact that you're always very positive, you're, you're helpful and you're polite to other people. Well done to you, Paige. Now we move into the Maples class. Well, Kenzie Warren, a great start to the summer term and you've been trying really hard with all your classwork. Kenzie, you're showing a brilliant attitude, so keep it up. Fantastic to hear, Kenzie. And I will see you later on today for our science lesson. And into the Oaks class. Really nice to hear that Katie Leake has also come back with a brilliant can-do attitude. And you're showing such a good um, uh, set of answers in your reading. You're being really insightful and you're trying really hard to give those answers during lessons as well. And Miss Honeyball is extremely proud of you. So well done to you. And finally, in the Cedars class, it's Willow Felipez. Willow, you have shown bravery and determination. Well done to you. You're currently, at the moment, you've got a few physical challenges and you've got lots of medical appointments that you're going to and you've got lots of exercises that you have to do to, to make sure that you're stretching muscles and all those sorts of things. But you know what's really important? You're showing such a positive attitude. You are such an impressive young lady, Willow, and everybody's so proud of you. And I think that way you approach life is not just through that, but it's also through your friendships as well, Willow. So everybody is incredibly proud of you. Well done. Now, as I said, a great start to the term. Don't forget those values that we looked at together and are now in your classrooms are what we are making sure you're sticking to all the time during our school time at Sibsi. It's so important that you work hard today, just like you can see up there. Today we will be, and today you will be all those things. But if you do those today, you're preparing for a better life for yourself tomorrow, for the people that you care about as well. So all those, all those ideas that you've come up with, all of those steps to the motto, they're the things that we're going to be making sure that we stick to as a team in Sibsi, as a really good family. Have a lovely Friday and I will see you around school.